Banjo and Ruby Red by Libby Gleason and Freya Blackwood. Old Banjo is the best chook dog we've ever had. Mum whistles and yells, Go Banjo, go! Bark, bark, bark! Squawk, squawk, squawk! Chooks fly up from the grass, down from the trees and out from the shed. Except Ruby Red. She sits on top of the wood heap and stares. Bark, bark, bark! Squawk, squawk, squawk! Chooks fly into, into their yard, peck at the ground and settle on their roosts. Except Ruby Red. Around the wood heap goes Banjo. Bark, bark, bark! Ruby Red ruffles her feathers. Bark, bark, bark! Ruby Red stretches her neck and stares at the sky. Bark, bark, bark! Banjo leaps, logs tumble, sticks fly. Ruby Red rises, up, 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 and then down into the chook shed onto her perch. But one day, as Banjo is rounding up the chooks, no Ruby Red. No chook up on the wood heap, ruffling her feathers and staring at the sky. Banjo slides on his belly. He sniffs the long grass. No Ruby Red. He snuffles around the shed door. No Ruby Red. He even goes through the lambing yard and under the wool shed. And there he finds her, lying still, her feathers flat, her eyes closed. He takes her in his mouth and carries her to his kennel. He places her inside, then lies down, wrapping his body around her, close and warm. For two days she stays there, and Banjo watches over her. On the third day, she lifts her head and peers out of the kennel. On the fourth day, she stands up and pecks at some seeds. On the fifth day, she scratches at the ground and goes as far as the fence. Today it's my job to shut up the chooks. I whistle and yell, Go Banjo, go! Bark, bark, bark! Squawk, squawk, squawk! Chooks fly up from the grass, down from the trees and out of the shed. Except Ruby Red. Bark, bark, bark! Squawk, squawk, squawk! Chooks fly into the yard, peck at the ground and settle on their roosts. Except Ruby Red.